Hello everyone, I am Dr. Kenny Ravish, Senior Consultant Neurologist and Head of Epilepsy Services in Esther CMI Bangalore. So today I am here to talk about what are the myths and what are the facts of epilepsy. So when it comes to epilepsy, it is a common disease and it is in fact the, one of the most common neurological diseases which are prevalent. But as I, unfortunately there are a lot of misbeliefs and misconceptions with, with regards to this. So when it comes to misconceptions, there are two things. One is coming to the diagnosis of epilepsy and second is coming to treatment of epilepsy. So coming to diagnosis of epilepsy, what is the most important thing is that epilepsy is a neurological disease but people wrongly believe it's a psychiatric illness or it's a mental illness or some people believe that it's given by a bad woman. So that's the reason people engage in various things which are not required like they sometimes uh, take the patient to a temple or a church or engage in even things like sorcery also. Sometimes people try various things like giving a lemon, giving them to sniff uh, 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 socks or giving them to sniff ginger etc. So these are all things which are wrong. So basically epilepsy what happens is that in the brain there is a abnormal miswiring of neurons which happens. This results in a patient to have various symptoms which are not out of the blue. So which can be very from jerking of the body which can make the person to behave abnormally. So that's the reason uh, people engage in various things. So what is most important to think is that you should, this is a neurological disease for which treatment is available easily and you should come to a doctor at the earliest so that the proper treatment is given and the patient's conditions get resolved. So commonly people in engage in various things like when a patient is having seizures, they usually try to first of all hold the hands tightly, they give in the hand metal rod or they try to give in the patient mouth some sugar or they try to give put some lemon etc. These are all things which are, should not be done because this can potentially be harmful to the patient as well as to the attender who is taking care of. So usually what happens, seizures stop by itself within 2 minutes. If it doesn't stop, you should call an ambulance and take the patient to a hospital where can emergency treatment can be given. Therefore, it is imperative that the patients seek medical attention at the center which, for which uh, epilepsy diagnosis and proper treatment can be given so that the misconceptions and what are the false beliefs can be cleared and patient can live a normal life. So treatment options include first and foremost is the medicine. So here it is important that there are various medicines available in the medical stores and in the market. So the patient should be evaluated properly, the type of epilepsy should be diagnosed and the medicine which is given should be appropriate for that epilepsy type. So the right medicine for the right of epilepsy helps in controlling seizures to a great extent. But some patients unfortunately there are few cases in which medicines are not are tried appropriately. So they take one medicine, they take two medicines, sometimes they take even more than two medicines. Despite that, about 30% of the patients with epilepsy tend to have recurrent seizures. For this group of patients, there are other options possible in certain limited centers where there is a comprehensive epilepsy workup can be done. So the options possible for such group of patients include surgical options, which may include a brain surgery or sometimes a battery implantation like a deep brain stimulation or a vagus nerve stimulation and other therapies like dietary therapy like ketogenic diet all these modalities can be tried so that seizures can be well controlled. So it is important that the patients visit a epilepsy center where the appropriate diagnosis can be given and a treatment option which is the best suitable for them can be given. So when it comes to epilepsy management, there are two important things here. First is taking the proper medicines which are prescribed at the right time and second important thing is lifestyle. Because commonly we see that the seizures which occur are due to triggered by a not lifestyle not being followed appropriately. So the common triggers for seizures are basically lack of sleep, irregular timing of medicines, apart from that sleeping late and other things like alcohol, consumption, etc. other substances with drugs can also trigger. So one important trigger which we are encountering commonly in the COVID and post-COVID era is basically screen time. So basically we are seeing especially children, they spend a lot of time with the mobile phones, watching videos, playing games, etc. So this can potentially trigger seizures, especially in patients who have some epilepsy which are sensitive to visual stimuli. 
So that's that's the reason uh, these patients can have frequent seizures if they keep on watching the mobile or playing games or watching TV for a long time. So it is imperative that the parents and the patient themselves restrict the use of these devices so that they reduce the chance of getting a seizure. So it is imperative that the patients with epilepsy stick to a proper lifestyle so that the chances of getting a seizure are minimized. Apart from that, the simple things which the patients can follow, they can have a pill box. So because the patients usually with medicines for epilepsy, they are given either some, some medicines are taken once a day, some medicines are taken, taken twice a day, some are required thrice a day. So once they buy a strip of medicines, they can peel the cover and they can put the medicines in the pill box so that they remember exactly they taken the medicine or not. And so in case seizure happens, we come to know whether it's regarding to a missed medicine or the medicine is not working appropriately. Apart from that, what is the important thing is that the patient should maintain a seizure diary. So seizure diary is one thing where the patient can note down regarding when they have a seizure. So here in is important to note down what was the reason for seizure. So we come to know whether it was due to a lack of sleep or another trigger which was responsible. And other than that, any medicines was missed, etc. So that the doctor can exactly know regarding whether medicine is working or medicine is to be increased or changed, etc. So these are the few important things which should be done by a patient. Apart from that, one important thing which I want to stress is yoga. So yoga is one important thing which helps the people with epilepsy to have a better quality of life. It helps to have a peace of mind and also it helps the patient to relax. So by doing this, the seizure threshold is increased and chance of getting a seizure is minimized. So it is imperative that these simple tips are followed by all epilepsy patients so that they can have minimal chance of getting a seizure and they can lead a life which is full of freedom and free from the fear of getting seizures. For any queries regarding to epilepsy and its management, please feel free to contact us in Department of Neurosciences, HSCMI, Bangalore. Thank you.